Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start this video giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash, Dovanus of the Apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is Arak Tazah, uh, once again from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp. And I uh, just want to do a quick video on this, uh, uh, this, this, this particular headline that's been uh, floating around. Uh, different brothers have uh, shared the, um, the different articles and headlines on this in regards to um, Iceland. All right. And uh, the one article I have here is from uh, the New York Post or NYPost.com. And it says Iceland braces for possible volcanic eruption after 1400 earthquakes in 24 hours. All right. So, um, I mean, yeah, this is this this another um, you know, as the scripture speak about, it's a scripture that says that the Lord is going to show us these tokens, you know, which the tokens are the uh, are the signs or the prophecies that we would see that would let us know that we are at the end. All right, as as the scripture say, um, as the Lord prophesied, there will be earthquakes in diverse places. Matter of fact, um, we can just start with that. All right. This is just more, more, uh, more, as I, as I just said, tokens and signs to let us know what's about to happen. And you see the title of the, uh, the passage of chapter they have here, signs of Hamashiach's return. All right. This is a sign. This is the, these are signs that, 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 that our Lord, Yahweh Shah said would, would, would happen or that would be shown to let us know that, you know, as far as where, where we are, as far as on the, uh, the timeline of prophecy. All right. So we go to Matthews 24 and um, you can start here. Uh, verse six. All right. Matthews 24 and six. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. All right. Which we're hearing that and seeing that now. And then it says, see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. All right. Like like we always go into and I might have. I think that was a video topic or a title I had in mind was um, the prophecies deal with a certain level of uh, basically the prophecies deal with like a chronological order. So there's certain things that have to come to pass first, ultimately, until the, the, the actual end comes. OK, which, the, of course, the major prophecy we always bring up is the uh, mark of the beast in uh, Revelation 13 chapter. All right. And then verse seven, it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. OK, so you're going to have wars. All right. And it says, and there shall be famines. And pestilences. And earthquakes. See that? So there you go. All right. How shall I prophesy? You're going to see earthquakes. And the fact that. I mean, you had this many, you know, of different you know magnitudes. That's that's a that's something major. You don't even hear nothing about Iceland like that. Iceland is pretty much off the radar. You never hear no news about Iceland like that, as far as I know. So the fact that you got all these earthquakes popping up in in that in that in just one day, you know, that's that's definitely something to uh, pay attention to. All right, so you're gonna have famines, pestilences, and earthquakes all over all over the world, man. All right, in diverse places, and it says all these are the beginning. Of sorrows, all right. Yeah, we in a time of sorrows coming upon the earth, where the mirth of the people is going to be um brought down, all right. As the scriptures say, um, when you read the scripture, it says the daughters of music shall be brought low, right? Um, can't remember exactly what it said. I think it's in Ecclesiastes, maybe. If I'm not mistaken, it says the daughters of music shall be brought low. Now I know we use that scripture to talk about how. You have the bad, <laughs> get the bad music out there. How the music has been dumbed down. And it's basically poison. But also that means that there's not going to be any mirth. Because music is synonymous with mirth. All right. Music, drinking, wine. All right. So when it says the doors of music should be brought low, that really means the mirth of the land is going to be greatly diminished. All right. So, uh. Let me just read a little bit from this article. All right. I just read the headline earlier. Uh, it says Iceland declared an emergency 
and issued evacuation orders for a popular tourist town Saturday after 1,400 earthquakes were recorded in, 20, in a 25-hour period, sparking fears <laughs> of an impending volcanic eruption. See that? Yeah, so the Lord is, is putting fear in these people, man. You know, he's going to use the natural natural disasters, the, use the elements, use the earth. You know, this is one this is one thing the Lord could use just to, to, you know, instill fear in these people, man. Or in a part of me with these names here, because I don't, yeah, I'm not good with these names. These funny names they got here. It says, authorities urge residents of uh, Grindavik. Grindavik, Grindavik to flee the coastal town following the flurry of seismic activity roughly three miles below the surface of the Rika, Rake James, uh, <laughs> Rika James Peninsula. I know I probably butchered that, but it says, um, it says, quote, there are indications that a considerable amount of magma is moving in an area near the for Greg Dole's, <laughs> good lord, I, I don't know, Slaki, I, I, I can't read that shit, uh, volcano, <laughs> about 25 miles southwest of uh, Reykjavik, the country's capital, the Icelandic office said in an 11.30 p.m. update, all right, yeah, so that's 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 a lot of activity in that in that short amount of time, and just that and just that amount of uh, 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 you know distance. All right, and I read I read something else. Um, it was an, it was another article too that I had pulled up um, dealing with um, I think it was like a mountain somewhere in, on the west coast. Uh, I think in Washington, they was expecting like a, some type of volcanic eruption or something like that. So the, yeah, so the point is, these are all signs, man. All right, these are all signs of, you know, our Lord's coming. You got this happening. You got, you know, at the same time, you got the the wars, the, the wars still going on over there in, in in the Middle East with with um, you know, uh, Israel and, and, and Gaza and all that over there in that land. All right, you got Elon Musk, you know, uh, uh you know, <laughs> this nigga Elon Musk. Doing his wickedness behind the scenes with these damn, uh, you know, brain chip trial runs, which is going to lead to the MOTB. So things is happening, man. All right. Um, another scripture that come to mind as far as dealing with the earthquake topic. Um, what I'm thinking about, yeah, uh, book of Second Ezra, chapter nine. And we could pretty much end it there. I just wanted to highlight that real quick. Don't gotta go too far into it. All right, this is Second Ezra chapter nine, it's starting uh, starting at verse one, and it says, "He answered me then and said, measure that a time diligently, in itself." So you're supposed to be measuring the time, and it's not possible if you're not watching what's going on, you're not circumspect, and and you know staying updated on the news and things that's happening, you know, and and also, you know, lining it up with prophecy in the scriptures so that you could properly measure. And, and judge what times we in, all right? And it says, and when thou seest part of times past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what's happening. The heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is, is starting to visit the earth. And when, like we say time and time again, the word visit also means to judge, all right? So when the Lord visits the earth, he's judging the earth. All right. In verse three, it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that is that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. See that? So these things were already spoken about via the mouth of the prophets. And now they're coming to pass, which essentially is what prophecy is to say before okay but it mentions the earthquakes and uh the uproars of the people okay and then it says um verse five it says for like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest 
All right, the end is which the word manifest means to be made clear. So the, the so the, the 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 more we go on, the more time goes on, the more it's made obvious that we're at the end because the Lord is going to continue to show these signs and these tokens. Okay, and that was pretty much the point, man. I just wanted to uh, highlight that with like you know like one or two scriptures. Don't got to go too far into it. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know the the, the you know, the 1400 earthquakes is really, you know, is really telling, man, of what times that we in. It's going to be more. It's going to be more earthquakes in, in different areas. And, you know, and it, that part where it said that the people feared, you know, this is the Lord instilling fear in these people because the Lord is the, as the scripture says, and I think it's Job 18 chapter, it speaks about how the Lord is the, is the king of terrors, man. This is his light work. All right. The Lord's going to bring more, more earthquakes, more natural disasters. More desolation, more uh, uh, judgment, you know, and it's going to increase, man. All right. So I just want to do a quick video on that, on this story. Uh, low willingly, you was edified, giving a praise to you. How about Shai, Bashim Rahakwadash, and uh, low willingly uh, to the next uh, video or lesson, I'm going to say Shalom.